The county Sheriff's Office is hopeful that their new taser upgrade will reduce the use of firearms by deputies. WALB News 10's Madison Foglio explains how this will improve safety in the county. Not only is safety top of mind for deputies on the front lines, but efficiency too. And that's exactly what they're getting with the new Taser 10. Threat. Currently, the Dorota County Sheriff's Office carried the X26P, which is a one-shot device. We're transitioning to the Taser 10, which is a 10-shot Taser energy weapon. SPAS funding made the upgrades possible and also funded new body cameras and in-car automatic license plate readers that can be integrated with the Albany Police Department's flock cameras. These upgrades give deputies other options besides using a firearm to de-escalate situations. It's important because it, it, it safeguards our deputies and it gives them extra tools to be able to utilize and not um, inflict deadly force upon individuals that deadly force is not dictated. These three pieces of equipment work in sync with each other while the deputy is on duty and creates levels of accountability. If we deploy, take this piece of equipment out of our holster, it automatically cuts on our body cams and our in-car cameras. And it also cuts on any body cam in a 30-foot radius. It's an ease of mind of, uh, of the situation, knowing that everything is uh, everything going on at one time, the uh, things are being recorded, that you have updated equipment that's not going to fail. The transition to the Taser 10 will be complete by the end of Tuesday. The body cameras and the in-car ALPR are already being used. Madison Foglia, WALB, your hometown news source.